Quick announcements before we get going today. Uh, we have the homework to autograder that's up and running as of yesterday. Uh, and to avoid the temptation of autograder driven development, where you submit your code and then try and read a giant page of results and then tweak things a little bit at a time and resubmit over and over and over, uh, the grader is now based on a token system. So you'll start with three tokens and every time you submit, you use up a token. If your balance ever goes negative, then the auto grader will not run uh, and the tokens don't go away forever. Whenever you use one up, it'll regenerate in one hour. So basically it's just a velocity control mechanism so you aren't too tempted to lean on the auto grader too much. What you wanna do is when a test fails, the auto grader output is actually very verbose and our expectation is that you will go and write your own little test that you can debug on your own because it'll be much faster in the end than trying to make minor changes and submit and hope and uh, try and look at our results, right? You want your own tests. Uh, lab attendance will not be required this week and the magic word will be spring break. So there it is. Uh, so today's topic is going to be hashing. Uh, in particular, we're gonna talk about how we can use this magical idea of hashing to build a data structure that can implement map and set operations very efficiently. And it is just a super cool idea that seems like a crazy hack, but works quite well. 